This video is part two in me trying to explain the Hansen's notation or the Hansen's code, the under over things. In the first video I showed Oslo stitch and Mamen stitch, finish stitch. And um, I will show the Dalby stitch too. The Oslo stitch was under and over, turned the needle, go under and over and over. So this was the Oslo stitch, under, over, slash, under, over, over. And if you've been on my website, you have maybe noticed I am talking about two, a one-faced and two-faced and three-faced stitches. So the Oslo stitch is actually two-faced stitch because there are two um, groups of yarn which you handle before you turn the needle. So this would be the first phase and this would be the second phase. And Mammon stitch 2 is a two-faced stitch. It's un under and over and over. And um, the first under in the Mammon stitch would be the first phase and the second phase would be these two overs, these two overs. So there are two groups of yarn. First group is here, the first phase, and the second group of yarns is here, the phase two. The Dalby stitch is what I'm calling three-phased stitch. There are three different letters, under, over, and then under. And when you keep your work on your thumb, you have one loop around the thumb. You pick up one loop from front to back and the second loop behind the thumb you pick up from behind so that this go twisted and to finish the stitch under, under the thumb loop and under the working yarn. I'm doing a couple of stitches to get the loops in order. So, when we take the work of the thumb, the Dalby stitch looks like this. We read the Hansen's notation from left to right and when you look at your work you will need to take it off your thumb, keep it flat in front of you and read it in circle starting from the right bottom corner and going like this. So the first under is here, under over under, the yarn goes here under, then the yarn goes over and under again and this is the slash when the direction of the yarn changes so it's under and over and under slash it's over and under and over and over and Dalby stitch is a is a three-faced stitch. The needle goes under one group of yarns. In this in Dalby stitch there happens to be only one letter in each of these groups. But this would be the first phase. The second phase is here, third phase here, and this is the slash. So it's under and over and under 
three faces under over under turn the needle and you can see the over happens here and then you take one under and two overs my loops are a bit tight but I'm hoping you can see it it's under and over under then there's the slash and under over over what did I say over under over over sorry If you have a Dalby stitch on your thumb, the first part will be like an Oslo stitch, under over. And like I said in my previous video, the first letter, I think it's easier to remember if you think the first letter as the number of the loops which you have around your thumb, in this case one. And the second letter, the number which, the number of loops which you take behind the thumb. In this case, there's only one O, just like in Oslo stitch. And since the Dalby stitch is a three-faced stitch, one, two, three, so the third letter you will need to pick up from back to front. Let's put the needle in place. So this is what happens. You have one thumb loop which you do not pick up. Then you pick up one loop as usually and the second loop from behind you pick up from back to front and the needle dip points to the left. Keep the needle in position. Take your work off the thumb. And you can see, here's the weaving pattern. There's one under, one over and one under. There's also the slash. And the next O is there. Keep the needle in position and flip the work back onto the thumb. Turn the needle. And finish the needle, finish the stitch. If you take your work off the thumb, there's under and over and under. This is the slash and there's over and under and over and over. And if you flip it back onto your thumb, it looks like this. One thumb loop one loop from the from behind the thumb as usually just like in Oslo stitch and the second loop from back to front and finish the stitch Russian stitch somewhere too. This is very similar to the double stitch, just that there are two loops of everything. Mm. I'm doing a couple of stitches to get the loops right for this stitch. Also too tight. Maybe one more.
it's uh, in Russian stitch 2 plus 2 plus 2 you have three groups which each have two letters two unders, two overs and two unders if you have a look at the stitch I just made the first two unders are there under, under then the needle goes over two yarns and finally under these two yarns there's the slash I'm afraid you can't see this very well anyway there are two yarns over there so here's the slash and the direction of the yarn changes the yarn goes over two yarns under two yarns and finally over three yarns so if you're working flat it would be under under over over this is one this is first phase second phase and these last two unders here are the third third phase so Russian stitch 2 is a third is a three faced stitch the first phase is this two unders the second phase is this two overs and the third phase is this two unders and now we are here at the slash turn the needle and go twice over this is turn needle and you can see the needle tip goes goes over two yarns then there are two under 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 there first this is the slash first there are two times over and over and here the needle goes under and under and finally over 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 three o's over 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 if you have the russian stitch on your thumb you can see first face here under under the second face here over over and the third face here under under slash and then over over there are two yarns under under and finally three o's if you have the russian stitch on your thumb this is a bit more difficult since the loops are so big so the f again the first two letters in this case the first group of letters there are two unders means that you have two loops around your thumb the second group means that you pick up two loops from behind just like usually and the third group here tells that you will need to pick up two loops from behind just like in double stitch I will make them a bit looser first by pulling them so these are the thumb loops I'm not picking them up and behind the thumb I pick up two loops on the needle from from the from the back just like usually and the next two I will pick up from back to front and then finish the stitch oh this is so tight I'm not sure if you can see anything when you take your work of your thumb there are over ah uh, sorry under and under and then two over and over and under and under and there's the slash 
and then the needle goes over and over and under and under and then three times over. And just like I remember, I told you to remember in the previous video, when you are connecting the stitches to the previous row, do not count the connection stitch. Whether it's one or two from the front or from the back, do not count the stitch in the previous row. Pick up your loops, the connection loops, and then do the Hansen stitch, in this case under, under, over, over, and under, under, then a needle, and finish the stitch. <laughs> 